The Herpes Simplex Assassin. Table B in Sober's class. Rowan, Izzy, and Nigel. December through January was our time to work on this. Those are some pictures of us. Slide one, the cell enters through the pore. The interaction of glycoproteins on the surface of the virus particle with receptors on the surface of the cell is involved in herpes simplex virus's entry into the cell. The host cell can be one of almost any kind. The envelope covering the virus particle, when bound to some of those specific re receptors on the cell surface, will fuse with the host cell's membrane. The virus will create a pore, and which the virus enters through. A cell receptor is a molecule found on the surface of a cell, which receives signals from nearby cells. The signals are a job for the cell to do, and the receptor, with these signals, can let things enter or leave. Glycoproteins are proteins with a carbohydrate component. The virus, oh, sensory nerves and sensory cell. The virus is transported along sensory nerves that lead to the sensory cell body. They multiply by new virus particles in the nerve cell being transported along the axon of a neuron. And if you guys don't know what an axon is, it's like a thread like thing that comes off of the cell. When the virus multiplies, it sends out proteins that shut down the defense systems of the cell. It goes to the other cells and does the same. This goes to the nerve terminals in the skin. When they get there, the watery blisters show up. They, this normally happens around the lips and the genitals. Shut down protein and watery blister. After the virus multiplies, it releases a shut down protein. The protein will shut down the cell's defense system. When the body that the cell is living in gets stressed, it will activate the protein, then destroys the cell. The, then the disease cell will spread its virus to other cells. Wherever the virus is, it causes a watery blister to appear on the skin, which is pretty ugly, as you can see. Right there. Entering the castle, our first analogy slide. An assassin runs up to a castle. He kills the guards and searches one, finally digging a key out of the one guard's pocket. He opens the gate and jumps into the moat, emerging at the other side after a swim. He sneaks through a storage room chock full of old junk and comes out into an empty hallway. He strolls through, but hearing approaching footsteps, dives behind a pillar. Distraction and stress. Peeking around, the assassin spots a lone messenger pattering through the hall. He swiftly kills the messenger with his gun. The shot makes a loud noise, attracting the attention of the nearby king and his personal guards. They panic, running around, looking for the hidden culprit. In a room close by, the assassin's helper hear the noise, their cue. They run out, steering the bodyguards away from the now vulnerable king. Smiling, the assassin aims his gun at the king. Death and spread and death again. He pulls the trigger. It connects. The assassin has triumphed. But his job is not over. He yells. Another cue for his helpers. They change direction, turning toward the exit, as does the assassin. The assassin and his helpers all meet outside the castle. They split up, running into each of the nearby mansions, working their way into the border of the town. They go into every house, killing each citizen. They leave the cities empty. Bibliography. Websites for info. That website and that website. From Wikipedia and the Utah College and website. And those are both Wikipedia. Thank you. Sources of helpful images. No idea where this leads to. Thank you for watching.